Hi guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, what are we talking about today? Hair extensions. So um, I had ordered some hair extensions actually for my 50th birthday because I wanted to go glam for my 50th birthday. And I'll put in a few pictures throughout this video so you can see what they look like. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you since now my hair is shorter in the back and longer in the front, how I go ahead and utilize my hair extensions. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk hair. Let's get started. All right, first things first, these are my hair extensions. Aren't they pretty? And um, this little hanger thingy also comes with a little case. You can see it in the back, the pink, to protect them. And then it just, they hang up. Um, I got that off of Amazon. And as always, I'll link everything in the description box. But these are the hair extensions that I got. They are 18 inches long. They are from Cashmere. So they are Remy hair. So human hair um, of the highest quality. Um, the 18 inches, they come in three different lengths, 16, 18, and 20, although you can get custom orders as well. You can also get um, ponytail ones where it just is a ponytail. Um, with regards to the hair extensions, these are 180 grams uh, for the uh, 18 inch and they were roughly $219. So of course they are on the pricey side, but they are gonna last and act just like human hair. So you can cut them and um, layer them, which um, is definitely something that you should do, and I'll explain why. Uh, the other thing is, is you can straighten them, curl them, wash them, just like you do with your regular hair. Uh, if you take care of them, uh, they will last a really long time. The clips are phenomenal. They are very easy to utilize. You just pull out on both sides and push in the center to clip. And what comes with it? So it's seven uh, tracks and the wefts are six inch, seven inch, eight inch, and then there are four three inch wefts. And then you also get a tester piece, which is also a three inch weft. And I'll explain that, what that means. Um, so that's kind of the gist of the, oh, the color I got was uh, Roxbury Red. Now, there are, if you're a blonde or a brunette, you are not gonna have a problem finding a color to match on Cashmere's website. I had one red, <laughs> which was Roxbury Red. Um, so that's what I had to work with. So uh, there are a few things that I do to make my extensions match me. One is they, um, since they are human hair and they are high quality, when they come, I have one weft that I've left out. A, this is a three inch weft. Um, you can see the hair is thick all the way down to the ends. Um, I have had these uh, layered, um, so they were even thicker, uh, but she put a little bit of layering in, which is what you'll need to do because they will be so thick. And if you want them to match and, and if you want them to blend, you definitely want to get them layered. So they'll come to you all packaged, your seven tracks, and then you will have a tester piece in a separate package you can take the tester piece out, you can clip it in, you can match it, make sure you're happy with it. But the minute you open the package with the uh, seven um, tracks, they are now yours. So they do give you the tester piece just to make sure and then you keep it and it's an extra piece. The other thing that I had to do is because I am a redhead, um, because I have chosen to be a redhead, <laughs> um, is that I had to have um, I had to have my color matched a little bit. So we did put um, highlights in uh, to match the color of the red. So I think my hairdresser has done a beautiful job. I love the color on its own, and then of course it matches the um, the uh, tracks. So those are a couple things that you would want to do is just make sure the color is right if you need to have your hairdresser add extensions. You do not want to color your um, 
uh, hair extensions. I will say what I have done though, if my roots are darker than my track, what I have done is the I have used the uh, L'Oreal spray, uh, you know the stuff you use for your root spray, um, for like this portion so that it blended uh, better and then it washes out of my uh, tracks. So it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put my tracks in. All right, the other thing we did is we actually put little labels on the back of the tracks because I did have them layered in. So I wouldn't get confused. We kind of put these little dots and it's just nail polish. So this is track one, track two, track three, you get the gist. And so that way I know that I have one, two, and three. And then we did layer one a little bit more around the face because I have a side part. And so I put a little uh, mark on this one because this one I know will go at the very top because it has higher layers. So you want to go ahead and whether you're straightening your hair or curling your hair, you want to do it so that, um, the, you know, if I tried to put this in, my hair's already a little curly, so uh, a little wavy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my curling iron. I've already done the other ones and you just roll it up. It takes a few minutes depending on your curling iron and I actually take the smallest one, the six inch, and I'm going to place it at the base. I then take the eight, and then I take the seven. So that's how I do it. Started. So we're gonna start with this one here, and the clips just snap open. So that's the first thing we are going to do is have the clips open and ready to go, and we start with the middle clip. So either with your finger or a comb, you're going to get a part. We're going to go just above the ears. Okay, we're going to take number two. Again, we're just going to open it up. We're going to take our side pieces. I'm going to open the first one up and I am going to go just above the ear and I am going to go at an angle. And then we are going to go just above that. And now we're good. Just 
just above the ear. At an angle. Down. And then just above. This one needs a little curl. and I want to blend them together. So I am gonna curl the front here. it looks now we have to look at the back and make sure that that's okay just so make sure that it all blended and that it looked layered and just added curls where I needed and what I usually do is pull some of it forward this is just sort of a light beachy wave I have done it uh, with a very very tight curl which I will show you a picture here for for my 50th birthday And um, I have not done it completely straight. This is probably as straight as I would go and it's sort of just a beachy curl. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will have everything listed in the description box as always. And uh, if you are subscribed to my channel, I just wanna say thank you so very much. And if you are not yet subscribed and these videos are of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell as well. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.